Yeah, yeah, I mean, they look a, a pretty mangulated. Um, <laughs> hereditary bunions. Bunions. Yeah. Bunions, yeah. Bunions, yeah. Hereditary bunions. Hereditary bunions. bunions, okay. So, you know, again, how much can we fix to that? Are we going to guarantee her? No. No, no, no guarantee. What are we going to do? Do the best. Just do the best we can, right? When you've got something like a hereditary kind of imbalance, and you, we just do what we can, right? Yeah. We don't know how much we're going to... We're going to come to a point where, uh, yes, we can help it. Can we fix it 100%? We don't know, maybe. But maybe not. Okay? Um, but we, we, what we certainly do know is that there's probably a lot of work here. Yeah? To do it, right? So we can also then feel the flexibility of, of her joints. And, and in particular here, you can feel, well, they, they needed a click. And they're a bit better now, but... It's not too bad in her flexibility, not too bad. But when I try and pull that big toe, that's not going anywhere. Mm. So they're moving, you know, that's good. Let's see if that one, let me get a better grip on it. There we go. Yeah. All right, so I immediately want to come in here and work on this side because that's being pulled very far. So I would be thinking it's tight through here and that's going to then come up into this, this part of the joint and really get into this delta band. And you can see it's here, it's, it's quite hugging the bone, right? Her bone's here and the band is over that. Feel that, that's an interesting, it's, it would be easy for a beginner to <coughs> not figure out what's the bone and what's the band. Can Sorry, you distinguish the between them? Oh, yeah. That's the bone. No. Yeah. Okay. No, this band. Oh. Band. Bone. Yeah. yeah. But you can see they're sort of, <clears throat> the band's quite tight and it's coming yeah. close to the bone. Mm -hmm. All right. So, <clears throat> and again, we can, uh, we can see how that, that's being affected, but I mostly want to work on this side of, of the toe, and I want to eventually bring it back as straight as I possibly can. All right, because bunions can get worse as people age too. So we want to take away the tension from here and the tension from here in particular, but also from here and from the back. So I would spend a lot of time on that big toe, uh, obviously being, being affected, but, but you feel tight in between here quite a lot. These areas here feel very tight. All right, so I would definitely spend quite a lot of time so far on her feet. I'm definitely picking up that, but have a feel here. Again, you can feel how it feels like a steel cable running up, which is easily mistaken for a bone. <laughs> that outer little toe band. Awesome. Bouncing up and down Again, we haven't found anybody with a case of loose, mm. very great feet in this class. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here? Yeah. <laughs> Has Terry got loose feet? One person I've come across in 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> or delusional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. So that's tight. That's going to bring tightness up through the side of her knee here, possibly eventually causing knee problems, right? If that tightness there, it stays in there because that's the, the, um, the delta band coming up here. That's the upper little toe band and the outer little toe band, all tight, pushing the, the knee out of it, right? So pressure on the knee. And a lot of people go, oh, I just, my knee gave out as I aged or I just did something and it just gave out. And then they're having knee operations, right? I hear that so often. All right. This is the sort of precursor to, to that. We don't want that to develop. And again, we can feel quite strong tension in each of the bands here. Not like 10 out of 10, but, but they're, you know, up there, uh, uh, kind of like an 8 or something like, you know, 7 to an 8. Definitely, you can feel that in there. Huh? Yeah. Again, probably emotional. Does anybody want to have a feel just here? Getting to know the abdomen is, is very important. Can you feel how it's quite tight? 
I work hard on getting that tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting stressed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so a lot of the time, people um, like distinguishing between abdominal muscles and these bands of tension is an important thing because, especially with bodybuilders and the people that I've mostly actually seen with abdominal tension, are Please almost the right. only people are cyclists. Uh, very few people have I seen with actual tension in their abdominal, the outer abdominal, abdominal. Most people don't use them enough to make them very actually chronically tight by themselves. Most of it's like all the hands. Yeah. Only they can watch like that. Like the cyclists that just don't tight like because they're like, yeah. Okay. So again. Sevens and eights, and, and they're all pretty consistent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Interestingly, um, yeah, it, it feels to me like this is probably one of the one of the tighter bands, even though her you know her toe is curling in like that. Um, but again, they're all this is yeah the delta band is definitely definitely quite tight here, which is something that I would expect seeing that toe curling under that, that one. And we can definitely feel, you have a feel of that right there and you feel how tight that is. So again, distinguish between the band and the bone. So that's the band, that's the bone. It'll feel bad if you try and loosen up bone. Okay. <laughs> Stand up and crumble. Yeah, that's right. It's like, wow, I've got it really loose. <laughs> All right, so yeah, definitely, you know, some, some reasonable tension in there. And then we can feel in here, we can feel that inner wristband is tight. Again, I'm giving probably sevens and eights. Not that it's not quite severe. I call severe sort of more than eight. They're like me, so it's five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're in worse. You were in worse shape than she is. But she's not in as good a shape as that she could be, right? That thumb feels very jammed up. Yeah. So anybody want to have a feel of that thumb? That that's showing me there's some, <coughs> some tension definitely going on in her thumb there. Doesn't oh, quite want to. Tennis elbow. You've had some tennis elbow on that side. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be thinking about working on the thumb. So a lot of this, because I course right, so I think because my hands are like this so yeah. much. Yeah. So it's just a case of deciding then whether we start on our hands or start on our feet. There's not one, uh, you know, correct way to do it. It's, it just depends. Maybe she's got more of a complaint. She might be going, yeah, my shoulder's been bothering me or my knees have been bothering me. Uh, either way, they both they all need to be done. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's why one of the things, in my opinion, that you really want to be able to do is, is change people over from that mindset of the one treatment wonder <clears throat> to being like committed to getting to a loose stage, because you don't want to work in the one treatment wonder philosophy. Because you're trying to do too much, you end up doing, when you try and do too much, what happens? You do a shitty job everywhere, or a half, you know, you're not going to loosen most people up. Anybody that we've seen so far, I doubt any of you would be able to loosen them up, because I couldn't in one hour, or two hours even. Most people are not requiring that. So, one of your things is to really educate people, and that's what your diagnosis is for. Your diagnosis is not just for you, is it? Because some people didn't realize, some, so many people go, I had no idea I was that tight. Mm. Because it's just not something they've thought about. Mm. You know, they don't, they're not self-aware enough. So, so your diagnosis is also for them. So you're wanting to communicate with that person about how tight they are. As I say, whether in a more formal manner as, oh, I really feel that's tight and that's coming up to here. Can you feel this? And she's like, yes, I can feel that. Even though we know she can feel it, I still sometimes ask a person, can they feel that? Why? Because I want them to own their tension. Mm -hmm. And not go into that, yeah. he's just hurting me. Mm -hmm. Right? You never, otherwise you, you're setting the whole, a bad tone for the whole treatment, the whole relationship. Mm -hmm. Instead of then going, yeah, right here, thank you very much for helping me get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not causing the pain, the pain is there because it's tight. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's what I'm doing. When I'm doing a diagnosis on somebody, I'm also going to be communicating with them. Alright? I'm like, wow. Oh, you feel like, gee, that's pretty, yeah. And, you know, I ask, 
Because not everybody's even aware that their belt is tight. Oh, that's pretty, you know. I mean, she, you know, we, we, we look for that response. And then I'd go, oh, that's coming from all the way here. So what I would suggest is that we do a lot of work here. Either in this treatment or next treatment, depends how much time we got. But it would take a bit of time. And I don't want to work it too hard where it's overwhelming. Do you think most people would agree with that or disagree? <laughs> so we'll just, you know, we'll take it and I'll let that dictate how fast I can work. So then guess what? The one treatment one drug is back in their court often anyway. Because it's more like, well, I can't, you know, pressure and things like that either necessarily. Alright, so her back feels quite tight. Does anybody want to feel this through here? In fact, her back feels tighter than her front. So that may be that the big toe sacrum band also needs some work. Okay. Feel how that's that's more like an eight, eight and a half or something like that. It's pretty solid, yeah. But overall, I don't think she'd be that complicated. I think it's it's pretty pretty straightforward. Just you know, do the hands, do the feet. Um, even though she's got that sort of bunion, I don't. I've seen far more extreme bunions than that. I, we may be able to correct that. We don't know. Again, I wouldn't make any, any, any guarantees or anything. We just do the best we can. But I would suspect that we could help a lot. There is a lot of tension, though, in here. Okay, so big toe sacrum, big toe belly. And that's where I'd start working, on our big toes. Uh, that's what I would think. After, after a